Nice, they were delivered. Nice, let's go grab them. All right, got it, got it. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a review of Mr. JWW. Uh, his limited edition sunglasses line that was just uh, unveiled uh, in the United Kingdom. Uh, so just quickly a little bit about Mr. JWW. Uh, he's obviously a pretty famous automotive YouTuber um, with just under a million subscribers. Uh, he deals with a lot of supercars. Um, you know, he's got a he's got a world famous detailing shop. Um, and now he's really starting to branch off and, and brand himself with, you know, with with clothing um, and most most notably um, recently um, this limited edition uh, sunglass line. So if you've watched my sort of channel for a while, I'm really into my sunglasses. Uh, and so I got right into this product uh, and I've been waiting for about a month actually um, for them to be delivered and they've just now started getting the first run out. So just quickly into the product line, um, seven different uh, sunglasses on offer. This first one is Estoril, uh, Estoril okay. Um, every one of these, these sunglasses, the, the, the cool thing about this whole line is that every one of the seven sunglasses available um, have been inspired from some sort of automotive significance in Mr. JWW's life. So just a little blurb about each one. Um, the Astoral first one you saw, you know, was designed after the glamour of the Astoral's automotive heritage. Uh, it's the home to one of the most picturesque coastal roads in Europe. Okay, and so this is where the, the name was sort of derived. Uh, the second one you saw was Topanga, you know, named after the Topanga Canyons in Malibu. Um, which is one of the greatest driving roads um, to cut through the mountains above Los Angeles. Um, after that, we've got Torini, uh, a timeless style designed to be worn on any occasion. The classic round eye style with silver flash lenses and end piece detailing provides an ideally, or excuse me, an ideal daily driver pair of sunglasses. This is that's that pair is meant to sort of be you know, sort of worn with anything, sort of, you know, can go can go dressy, but casual as well. Next one is Jace, inspired by UAE's, uh, in the Middle East, most famous mountain road, Jabal Jace in Raz Al Kameh. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it that right, where Mr. JWW recorded his earliest supercar adventures on YouTube, where he kind of got his start. Um, then we've got um, Loretto, or excuse me, Lor Lorvato, which is the one I actually ordered. Uh, and in my opinion, my, the, the, the nicest of the group. Uh, the Lorado uh, Tunnel is actually where they were, this, these sunglasses were inspired. Um, the Lorado Tunnel forming part of the Monaco race circuit passes beneath the famous Fairmont Hotel, possibly the most iconic tunnel in all of motorsport. And Monaco is just my absolute sort of favorite place in the world. So, and actually I gravitated to that. I gravitated to the matte black sort of finish as well. Um, so echoing the darkness of the underpass, matte black frames and smoky lenses with matching black temple stakes make for a stealth finish. Okay, so that's kind of, um, that's the vibe. Uh, the last two were La Turbi, which you probably saw already, inspired by Mr. JWW's favorite road that winds out of Monaco, Monaco high up into the mountains overlooking the Principality. And then the last one, uh, Tuscana, name was inspired from the stunning roads of the Tuscan wine regions. Okay, so just, just a little bit, a little bit of background information. Let's kind of get into the video here. So. Um, I'm taking you right from square one, literally just the package just showed up on my doorstep. So, you know, grabbing the box here, you know, obviously the cardboard is, is, you know, quickly discarded here. I think this is a return label. I'm just kind of having a look, see over, hopefully you can't read that. So you can steal my identity. And then here we go onto the, onto the shades, nice little small packaging, pretty concise, pretty, pretty neat and tidy. Nice Mr. JWW logo. So one of the big things I like about Mr. JWW is he, you know, a lot of YouTubers, you know, don't necessarily have, I don't wanna say professionalism, but come off sort of, you know, there's some young punks, there's some like, 
you know, some nerdy guy, some this, some that. But Mr. JWW really has a sort of professional classiness about him, which kind of, you know, I think sort of inspired me to want to sort of almost emulate him a little bit and, and kind of follow the things he does because he's, he's, he's a bit of an inspiration in, in the way he conducts himself on, on the camera, which is, which is pretty cool. So we're seeing that sort of in his product here um, right off the get-go, right? Nice, nice packaging. You know, navy blue is just a just a good sort of classic sort of traditional look. Um, so yeah, just just getting into the opening of, of everything. You know, obviously it comes with the little little packages, little pamphlets. You know, um, you know with the with the dimensions of everything and um, you know the technical information about the frames and stuff like that. Safety precautions in ten different languages and stuff. So just going through that. Um, this pair of sunglasses, which it, what's what's really really cool about it is it has these little side shields on them, which is which which can be sort of drawn um, when you want to close them, um, and they can also be taken right off. Um, but it comes with a little sort of little piece of paper that sort of shows you. They're called side shields. You can actually take the whole thing off if you like, uh, if you prefer the style with without them. But I mean, I bought them for the side shields because they're they're a bit of. You know, they're a little bit trendy they're they're kind of edgy they're a little bit different and i uh I, that's kind of what i wanted i wanted something a little different so i feel like if you buy them there's no point in taking them off so uh getting into the nice um uh holding case this is the, the first thing i noticed right away i was i was a little bit you know curious as to what kind of quality i was paying you know close to 200 pounds 200 british pounds for um and right off the get-go you can see that the the, 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 not the cleaning case, but I mean, the cleaning case looks pretty nice too. It's embossed with JWW, but the, the, the holder, the lens holder, the sunglass holder is in a nice dark uh, navy blue leather. And it's, it, you, it just, it feels like really, really good quality when you first pick it up. And then it's also got um, like a nice sort of suede uh, interior, almost like an Alcantara, right? Um, for the inside. Nice soft surface for your for your sunglasses. Again, everything that he's that he does is is very automotive inspired, right? So, you know, you want to think that that you know he's he's you know he's trying to show you know the fine leathers of a you know the interior of like a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. That's that's the vibe that he's trying to, to give off, or you know a beautiful Aston Martin. I know he does a lot of stuff um, with with the Aston Martin team. Um, and, and you know when you see an Aston Martin everything is of the highest quality sort of fabrics and materials right so I think this is what we're seeing here so just just unboxing the the glasses getting to it. it's the first time I've ever seen them um, hopefully you can you can get a close look there um, in my next shot I'll get a get a little bit closer but right now I'm just kind of just eyeing them up just looking at the different dimensions feeling them you know feeling the weight Getting a little look at all the little all the packaging and everything comes with a nice cleaning case comes with a couple like little You know everything's kind of branded branded um, Little sort of re receipt tag on the on the lens of it or on the um, on the the eye sock or the, the earpiece um, And in my opinion, they look good. They, they look pretty good I mean, I, th I think these are the type of sunglasses that I'm gonna wear with what I'm wearing now with a dress shirt and you know a, um, you know, a nice wristwatch for for maybe going out to something a little bit um, a little bit fancier. Um, for me, they're not everyday sunglasses. Um, you know, I, I teach a lot of squash and I work at a country club, so I, I don't see myself wearing these with um, with my all white sort of tennis clothing or squash clothing. It's more of like a nice sort of going out evening, a date night kind of thing. So here's a much closer look to to the cleaning case. And you can see just just the high quality, you know, it's got nice little sort of perforated holes all through it, but really, really good quality um, leather. And even the little sort of little hole there, that little silver bud, the little bead there that you have to sort of clip in is is just a good good quality. Obviously embossed with his name as well, which is which is very very nice. Must be really really cool to have your own like high end limited edition um, sunglass line. So guys, if, if while you're watching this, if you're interested um, in picking up a pair of these these uh, sunglasses, I'm pretty sure he's just doing a limited sort of run of them. 
Um, I'll put the description, uh, excuse me, I'll put all the information in the, de in the description below. Uh, feel free to, to get in touch with him or, or jump on the website. It's uh, brandjww.com, but it'll uh, all the information will be below and you can uh, you can try and get your hands on a, a pair or two of these. Um, I know when I ordered them about a month ago, they were just sort of t starting to take orders. I know as of like a week, week and a half ago, they've just started shipping the orders. So um, hopefully they, you know, if you are interested, they do have um, stock available. So getting a little bit of a closer look here. They kind of have like a little bit of like a gothic sort of vibe to them. I, I like them a lot. I think they're really, really cool. And again, if you, if you, if you have them in your hand, they don't feel flimsy at all. They, they feel substantial in your hand. You don't know what I would compare them to, but you know, whenever I pick a pair of sunglasses up, I, I want them to feel not heavy, but, but you know, you want, you want the, the, the nice, I mean, you, you, you assume that nice material is going to feel, it's going to have some weight to it. Right. So you don't want it to be flimsy. Um, because then they're just going to fall apart, right? If they get twisted or, or turned or, you know, or, or thrown somewhere, bang, they're broken. So, yeah, as you can see here, the, the side shields kind of fold in and then the arms fold in. So nice, nice, neat packaging, right? There's your, your lens case or your lens um, cleaning case if you want to, if you want to wipe them off. JWW in the corner of the lens there, branded again. Yeah, so I'm just, just kind of showing you how I, how, you know, how they're stored kind of thing, but looking really, really good. I think after, after opening these things up and after wearing them around the house a little bit today, um, and I took them to the, to the, to get a little bit of gas just, just for a little run in the car and, and they were great and they're, they're polarized. Um, you know, the, the lens color is solid smoke. The lens category for whatever it is, is the level three. Um, you know, they're protected from UVA, UVB and UVC, um, you know, polarized. Um, the width of the lenses is 50 millimeters. Uh, the bridge size is 20 millimeters. Uh, and then the length of the temple is 145 mil, uh, millimeters. Um, that's just kind of like the, the initial specs of it. Um, yeah, so the glasses, Limited edition, as I said, develop, develop for quality, designed for style. Uh, he calls them engineering for your eyes. Again, just, just based around that whole automotive sort of experience. Um, again, there's there's seven pairs that are available right now. Um, this is the Lovatos, uh, which again are inspired from the tunnel in Monaco with the Monaco Grand Prix, which has always been a huge, huge fan of. Uh, I've always been a huge fan of Monaco in general and the F1 race, um, which is, I find super, super cool. Probably one of my favorite races. Uh, the other sort of glasses that kind of interest me are the Toscanas because I, I, I do like that tortoise shell sort of class look. Um, I think initially I wanted to go with something a little bit more subtle, so just kind of black that you can, you can kind of wear with everything. But my mindset was that if I did enjoy them, which, you know, I seem to be doing that, I would, that I would, you know, go and go after another, another color. Um, the, the Toscanas are, are more of a square lens, but, uh, really, really nice looking. Um, so I may end up, may end up grabbing a pair of those. Uh, so that's kind of my initial sort of unboxing. Um, hopefully you got an idea as to, you know, what uh what these glasses look like um again this is this is a really really high-end company high-end brand um really really nice pair of sunglasses in my opinion uh, you know i think they they rank you know up there with like prada and all the designer stuff just not at those prices again these these are costing under of un, under 200 great britain great britain pounds so you know you're looking at like under 250 us dollars to, to get a pair of these and they're very very high quality so um if if you're in, into sunglasses if you're into sunglasses and uh and you want to support a you know a really popular automotive youtuber i would uh i would definitely look at getting your hands on a on a pair of these um hopefully you guys like the channel um feel free to to browse look at a few more of the videos um i would love it if you guys would would comment on what your favorite pair are um and also if you know mr jww go and take a look at a few of his videos i'll uh i'll link a few of them uh, below you can have a little look-see uh, 
He's mm -hmm. he's done some really really cool things with his with his channel. He's got about mm -hmm. seven eight hundred thousand uh, subscribers. So um, yeah, if you uh, if you find this this sort of you know stuff this unboxing stuff pretty uh, pretty useful and you enjoy it, um, I urge you to subscribe to the channel and follow along. And uh, hopefully we can we can bring some more cool sort of unboxing uh, stuff to you uh, as we move forward into the future. All right, so without further ado, I'll kind of just leave you to, uh, to follow along for the last little bit of this, this video and uh, see you in the next one. All right, bye.